Where did Kendall call from? I don't know. Any idea where she and Zach are headed? Not to the States, that's for sure. Well, if either of you hear from them, I would We appreciate. will not be calling you. For what it's worth, I'm glad she wasn't on that plane. She went through hell after Stuart died. She didn't deserve that, and she doesn't deserve this. Then you admit you think that Greenlee was lying. All I'm saying is that I cannot explore the charges without a suspect to question. I'd prefer to keep it that way. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, so tell me everything that Kendall said. What happened? Why isn't she coming? She had her bags packed, ready to go, and Zach talked her into staying. Oh, thank heavens. Yeah, it's great. They're gonna pick up Anchor and they're gonna keep working on that marriage. And she's gonna call you from the next port. Good. Okay. You might want to say that with a little bit more enthusiasm. Oh. It just when I was there and I saw her with the boys, I I just realized how much I miss having them right across town. I mean, I'm very, very glad that she's safe from Greenlee, but part of me just really was looking forward to having my daughter back home. So are you ready to uh, go share your remarkable victory? Do me a favor, will you? Can you handle it? Oh, come on, David Hayward is passing up an opportunity to gloat on the front page. I don't believe it. Yeah, I know, but I want to go find Greenlee. You know, as brilliant as I was, it was because of her that the verdict was swung in your direction. I think you should call her and give her the good news. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Well, that is a far cry from firing me. I overreacted. And you were brilliant. You really should be DA someday. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, I'll just have to settle for winning every case I get. No, come on. You don't settle for anything. That's why I hired you. I owe you. You paid him full. No, I mean it, Liza. If you're ever in trouble, you come to me. You didn't let me down. And I want to repay the favor. So I understand I missed your little performance in court. I told the truth. You perjured yourself, is what you did. Kendall ran me off the road. Oh, come on, you can't really believe that. What are you waiting for? Let it rip. Tell me what an ugly, horrible, evil, vindictive person I am. Greenlee, I Even you know. covered it up. Lied to me, your own daughter. So you want to yell and scream and tell me how wrong I am? Go ahead. You know, I remember the night of the accident like it was yesterday. How cold it was, how dark. How fast that water was moving. We searched for you all night, just looking for some sign that you were still alive. I imagined you out there all alone, afraid, in pain. And I couldn't reach you. I couldn't help you. But I'm back. I'm all better. Yeah, but it seems to me you're still all alone. You're still afraid and you're still in pain. And Greenlee, just like that night, I don't know how to help you. And it makes me feel like I'm losing you all over again. In pain? I feel great. I finally got the truth. I tracked down Kendall and I confronted her. And you and Erica and Ryan and Zach want to defend her. You want to protect her. I don't give a damn. She took away a year of my life. She took Ryan, and I don't forgive her. You can think whatever you want about me, but Ryan loves you. Not anymore. <laughs> Hello? I was hoping you can give me a ride home. <laughs> you know Annie. She's always overreacting about everything. What exactly did you say that she overreacted to? She finally realized that I'm trying to get her out of the house. Get her away from Dad. You have to apologize. I will. I'll make it right, I promise. I don't understand you. I mean, since we moved back, you've been making such a big deal about wanting everyone to get along and giving Annie a chance. I mean, I mean, you seem to be getting along well in Washington. And now this? Well, we did. But with Annie, the things that she's done, it's hard to forget. Okay, okay, so you, you talk about wanting to be a big, happy family, but then meanwhile, you're spying on her? 
Recording her? My God, JR. How far are you willing to go to bring down Annie? Don't, don't say anything. Look, it, it, it was all me, all right? But whatever JR said. I mean, I'm the one who wants Annie out of the house. I begged JR to help me get her away from Dad, but, but he wouldn't listen. Okay, so you were the one recording Annie? Yes. Jerry, look, you, you, don't, you don't have to cover for me. Just because I want Annie out of the house doesn't mean I want you in trouble. You have a second chance. You need to focus on your life and your family. I just thought a, a little fresh air would be good. I'll see you back at the house. Uh-huh. Hmm. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Well, I'm not fine. It's JR. He's done something horrible to me. <laughs> <laughs>